Now the proper usage of a knife is to grab the knife and glue it to your finger. Now your finger are never this way, always this way, and that thumb here, if it's in front, the tip will go, so it's in the back. People use it more on the side, more in front, doesn't really matter where it's there. I can look at you and shove because that knife is glued to my finger. That hand is just a dummy going up and down. That hand order everything. I push the knife, wherever I push the knife, it's going to go, I don't really have to look at it. It's not difficult, but you have to learn how to do it. Down and forward, usually. Practice with a cucumber. It's a nice way of practicing. You empty a cucumber with a spoon. You go on one side. You go back on the other side. Rather than try to go totally in the center, it will break the cucumber. You go down and forward. Down and forward. It's already the process of cutting. Down and forward, down and forward. And eventually, or backward or forward. But there is that motion of cutting. If I slide the knife against my finger, if I don't move that finger, nothing happens. That finger starts moving like the petit rat de l'opéra, you know, the little uh, dancer. And if I move very slowly, very slowly, I'm going to have very, very thin slice here. I'm going to have extremely thin slice because I move very, very slowly. If I move a little faster, I'm very faster. The point is that I will end up from a slice like this to like this to like this. Doesn't matter. You hear the same sound. It's a question of moving your finger back and forth. When you use something like parsley, you want to gather it into a bunch and slice it again. The same thing we did before. Then gather it together again. Now, uh, often people will put the palm of their hand on the table and cut it this way, which is fine for certain things. Parsley as fiber. The proper way is to have the front of the knife first because when the down go, you will automatically have that motion of cutting. So this is the proper way of chopping parsley with that motion. That's it. When you cut a, an onion, again, you cut in half, and you go with the onion, you go far away, and again cut. This is that motion. And then you want to cut across this way. And finally, again, the same technique to get the smallest possible chopped onion this way. If the knife is sharp, you won't cry because you won't release too much of the sulfuric acid which makes you cry. Likewise, when you cut bread, for example, often people will put their knife and apply pressure on this. And here is what happens. You crush the bread together. What you have to do is to go down and forward, down and forward, really using the bread from here to there, that motion, rather than crushing it. That's the basic principle of the knife.